Somewhere, Charlton Heston is probably breaking a set of stone tablets, convinced the world doesn't need another Ben-Hur. And if you're a fan of the 1959 Oscar winner, you might agree. People of Jerusalem, friends of bro. The new Ben-Hur, the latest in a string of movies that didn't need to be remade, roars onto screens Friday, hoping to tell the story of a wealthy man who becomes caught between his native Jewish people and the Roman Empire under Julius Caesar. Starring newcomer Jack Houston, the remake includes the monumental chariot race, some cameos by Jesus, played by Rodrigo Santoro, and a rest of the story approach that didn't figure into Heston's Oscar winner. This Ben-Hur is still fueled by a brother versus brother feud and features a lot of stunts that were not done as special effects. Folks like Morgan Freeman check in too, but this is a fairly unwieldy film that requires concentration and a desire to see a biblical Fast and Furious play out in a different kind of arena. Now, if you're loyal to Heston, skip the ride. Been there, done that could easily have been the catchphrase for this film. More interesting is War Dogs, a based in truth comedy about two friends who become international arms dealers. Bumbling into the roles, Miles Teller and Jonah Hill find themselves the lucky bidders in a deal to supply Berettas to U.S. forces in Iraq. How they do it forms the basis of a buddy film that finds them crossing the desert in so-so transportation. Once they succeed, they're officially in the business looking to make a big score at an ammo expo in Las Vegas. How they handle the next phase provides War Dogs comedy and lets Hill take his shtick to a new level. Teller doesn't get as much opportunity for laughs, but he's a great sidekick willing to pull out the big guns when necessary. War Dogs, directed by Todd Phillips, has the same vibe as his Hangover films. It's not exactly a cautionary tale, but it should give entrepreneurs reason to pause. Play with the big dogs and you might get burned. I use magic to tell stories. If you must blink, do it now. And finally this week, stop motion animation pays off beautifully in Kubo and the Two Strings, a fantasy that features a boy named Kubo going on a wild journey of discovery. <laughs> Adept at paper folding, Kubo unwittingly unleashes a mean spirit who could be the key to much of his heartache. Working with a monkey, voiced by Charlize Theron, and a samurai beetle, voiced by Matthew McConaughey, Kubo goes searching for his parents and answers to questions that have plagued him all his life. Directed by Travis Knight, Kubo and the Two Strings represents the next step for the company that brought you Coraline, Kara Norman, and Box Trolls. It's breathtakingly gorgeous and blessed with a story that should stand the test of time. Now, Kubo might not fit with the usual strain of talking animal films, but it certainly stretches the imagination and gets the artistic juices moving. Take children of this, you'll wonder how long it takes them to be inspired to create their own teen warrior out of nothing more than a sheet of paper. With your movies in a minute, I'm Bruce Miller.